Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 Imperial Italy. We are currently uh, backing our troops out of the general area over here. Uh, I think that'll be fine. We've uh, we've participated in a few skirmishes and uh, suffered some amount of attrition sieging things here, this defensive war that France found itself in. We actually drained uh, way too much of our manpower than I would had planned on, unfortunately. So we're just going to go home. The war is definitely in our favor right now. But basically, I don't really care who wins or loses. I'm not going to get anything out of this war. But um, I actually want France to be out of this war as quickly as possible. Because then, un unless they have a bunch of debt, they should be happy to join in my war against Milan. Um, let's take a look here. France... They do have the war exhaustion, and they do have some debt. Crap. So they might not be willing. Naples, are you paying down your debt? Accepting would destabilize Naples. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong war. I think what I want to do is war against Tuscany. Which will not destabilize Naples, but they have that debt. So, I mean, we might be able to solo them. It would have been easier when we had more manpower, of course. Oh, hey! Our uh, autonomy has gone down enough that we can get an extra force limit in there. And definitely men at arms because our um, our infantry line is is fine until we start taking losses and then we might be a little bit weak. So I think just a bit of a sturdier front row is going to be okay. The cannons, artillery is very strong. Artillery tend to win wars, but right now the artillery is still a little on the weak side, so not really worth um, overdoing it too, too much. And of course we have to make sure that we have enough um, combat width going on. We got enough of a front line to cover our entire combat width so that our cannons don't find themselves in the front. Oh, Holland is sieging out bits of Austria. Okay, that's all the same war. <clears throat> and there's no coalition against me, which is nice right now. Um, I don't want more force. I mean, it's nice, but it's not the end of the world. If there was a, um, a manpower boosting guy, I would have done that. Last episode, we did boost the um, province development in Ancona up to 20 so that we could go ahead and build a castle, which I think is going to be really good. First of all, Ancona is a little bit vulnerable to people jumping on them here. Plus, eventually we're planning on taking the rest of Italy down here, and none of these provinces have a fort, so that way we'll have a nice adjacency over there. I mean, I guess Umbria would still get the adjacency from Siena, but that would be about it. So I think that was a good investment. Plus, of course, increasing their province development did increase our, um, our force limit cap as well, which will also be improved as the autonomy goes down. So we're getting 12.88, and we still have a little bit every in a few different places, yeah. I wonder if there's any way. What's your unrest level at? Not low enough for me to drop it. That's a shame. It'd be really nice to just force the autonomy down, but I think we have to let it burn away. I do have a free diplomat, but I'm going to, I think, save that in my back pocket in case I want to instantly declare a war somewhere. Oh. Fortresses are under siege over here. Did France... Oh, no. You still have a giant army. Good. So you're going to be able to clean that out. Excellent. So, while Milan does have a decent sized army, I should be able to instantly jump on and stack wipe, well, maybe not stack wipe, but crush the Viennese, or the Tuscan army. I saw Venice on my screen, so I started saying Viennese. Um, I am tempted to maybe go ahead and do that war declaration anyway. Oh, what happened to your troops, Milan? You just, you had a few more a second ago. Did you just disband some mercs? Actually, let's take a look at uh, some of your stats here. Armies. Milan. Mm -hmm. You still have the troops. I don't know where they are. 12,000 manpower in the bank, which is certainly more than me. I like that Savoy will jump in. Savoy, what are you looking at? Looking like. Do you only have the 12k? 12k and 10,000 in the bank. Ah, it's a little bad. But yeah, we should be able to jump on things here instantaneously. I'm still losing money from reinforcements. No, just army maintenance. Of course, the forts. There's the peace. France is getting two provinces. Okay. There we go. Austria will jump in right away. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and declare instantly then so that um, Austria doesn't get pulled into another war first and sort of ruin everything. Let me unmothball my capital. And I suppose Florence... Actually, Florence is going to be fine. It's not going to get taken by Tuscany. I'm mostly just worried about more things in the north. So, yeah, Burgundy won't jump in. Milan will, which is fine, because I actually, um, this is going to, like, reset the coalition for sure. But I'm hoping to take at least Pisa 
if not fully annex all of Tuscany, and then grab uh, Verona, well, as much as I can over here. Really, the, the true point of the war is to take land away from Milan, really. Although Pisa is a pretty good province, right? 21 development. It's not an important center of trade, really. I'm surprised about that. All right, let's do it. Savoy, Austria, France, how much? Yeah, all that war exhaustion and debt. I might be able to pull you in a little bit later. We'll see how it goes. Distant war, fair enough. Boom. And instantly go in and crush the Tuscan army. Ooh, uh, oh, that's not a real naval problem. Good. We will want to take off the trade and just pin these troops in Venezia. That's where the rest of their troops went. Plus, it gives us control over the straight crossing into Venice, which will be incredibly valuable. Okay, we might get a few more of those pop-ups as they keep trying to move and then changing their mind. Uh, you're, I guess, going to run off over here, which I will probably just let you do. I'm going to finish the quick siege over here, which I guess what I can do is just detach minimal troops, go and squash this one stack. Good, and then move into Pisa, probably. Although I'll have to be ready to respond if um, the Savoyan, Savoyese, I don't know, troops get attacked in Parma. So we're just going to try to take all of Tuscany out of the picture right away. Make them be a non-issue. They'll still have their ships. They might be able to cause some trouble here, but probably not. Good. I'm just going to move here. So they've combined their troops over there, which is a little bit on a scary side. And Austria is in on this. They, they still have to move all their troops back from France, and they're not at full maintenance or anything either. Won the Siege of Pete. That was so fast. So let me group up in my capital and move to Verona. What's Verona like? It's all farmlands, which is too bad. What's your maneuver like? Not high enough, so you'll still at least get a river crossing in Verona, which is something. Um, actually, you know, oh, there's a fort. I can't make the move directly. Because I was going to say, it would be really nice. I could jump on Venice right now. Let's make this move. If they attack me in the mountains, I'll enjoy the defense. From Treviso, I should be able to cross into Venice. No, hostile fort. So I've got to take this fort first. Then I can move into Venice. Kill these troops. Actually, it'll stack wipe them because the blockade means they can't run. And then siege out Venice itself. And does Venice have a fort? No, it doesn't. And it's not a capital anymore, so it's actually going to be instantaneous. God, these sieges go fast. I love this siege guy in the cannons. I might have to go and assist something here in a second. Well, if they want to attack Austria in the mountains, that's okay. So they're going to get a big minus two. Minus three, actually. And Austria's got just as many troops, and in fact, slightly more very soon. Okay. What do we have here? Unhappiness among the peasants. Gain prestige, but lose stability. Lose some money. <sighs> um, if I lost the stability, I would feel like I'd have to put it up. So I don't think the 10 prestige is worth the 100 points it would take to do that. So I will just take the money hit. It sucks, but there it is. If I needed more money, I could raise war taxes, but I don't think I will. Austria should be able to win that handily. We'll finish the siege here in a second. I don't even have to keep my troops this close together, actually. Let's detach some people and send them over here to reduce some attrition. Actually, you can go and stand in Verona. In fair Verona. Get a diplomat back. I wonder if we can improve relations with Switzerland at all. Probably not. We'll give it a bit of a go. See, Austria wouldn't have been able to join into this war against Milan for ages. Um, there we go, Venezia. But, because this, because Milan is no longer in the Empire, they can. Oh, we can't cross right now because the, uh, the sea battle is going on. Let's detach, move into Brescia over here, which has a fort. It's also hilly, which means if they do jump on us, we'll be well defended. Oh, are we actually going to try to stack wipe these guys? Oh, we can't go directly because hostile fort. Fair enough. We're going to win anyway. We might not stack wipe them, but we are going to win that battle. Okay, that naval battle is done, so I can move you out of here. Oh, no, another battle because we just finished sieging somewhere else. Things were docked. 
kind of annoying, but it is giving us, you know, a little bit more war score, not really costing us too much. Um, let's go down to Parma, even though we can't siege it with this few people. Looks like Savoy will actually go there, actually. But if I get there first, I will be the siege leader. Oh, they're changing their mind. Oh, that's Austria. Never mind. Oh, they're going to engage. Fair enough. So we're not going to bring have our siege guy over here, and we won't have as many cannons. But I may as well start sort of carpet sieging. Um, oh, I can't cancel. I was going to say, Austria's already there, so I don't need to stick around. So let me go to Parma with this group. Uh, and consider very strongly... Looks like we're going to move in for a stack wipe. There we go. Stack wipe has happened. War score from battles always goes to the war leader. So thank you very much, Austria, for doing that. And we will have a 100% siege very soon. I have to make sure to piece out... Oh, Savoy occupies Verona. Why? They don't have a claim on it. It's adjacent to me. Why wouldn't they flip Verona over to me? They flipped Novara over to me. This makes no sense. I'm actually interested in Verona. Oh, you know why? Probably because there's a fort here, and there's probably uh, fort adjacency rules that are screwing with it. Let's see what happens when uh, Brescia falls. Because obviously, like, I, I my plan is to ideally grab this. Coast is good. It's in the right direction. Denmark hates Austria. Fair enough. Okay. Doesn't really bother me too much. I can uh, mothball these forts again. Oh, God, I need an interface for this. Paradox people, if you're watching, please... Please, 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 give me a page on the ledger or something in the building interface where I can just go click, 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 click through all the forts. Or maybe a mothball all, unmothball all button. Even if it's just on one page and I can go click, 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 that's pretty good. But on that same page, why not have a button? That would also be awesome. All right, just wait for these to go. Parma will go quite quickly because, of course, I've got my siege leader there and potentially more of my cannons. Yeah, only one cannon was left over here. So, let's go up to speed four. This free city is going to be really nice to take at some point. You know, if I declared on them now, well, then I'm really going to be pushing the coalition. Because um, I was going to say, Savoy can't join in. Oh, I don't have a CB. All right, never mind. Savoy can't join in because they're in a war on my side already. So that would have been one less ally. But I'm going to be pushing the um, aggressive expansion to the max as is. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. I got some power projection probably for... I was going to say declaring on Milan. Oh, Tuscany's a uh, rival as well. Good. Well, on the Siege of Parma, great. Why don't you go and help out over here since it's so slow. It'll go much faster with you around. We can actually, say, take all this infantry and move out of it. Save some attrition. Castle in Ancona is done. Let's go ahead and mothball that as well. Although I'm happy we've got it. You can join this fleet here. And actually, there's no reason... For me to keep that fleet there anymore. It's not uh, it's not sieging anything or blockading anything anymore. So go back to protecting trade, and of course you can repair yourself. Keep the relations with Austria really good. Of course, we decide to stay in the HRA, so they do like me quite a bit for now. So we're gonna get a hundred percent war score here in a second. Because there's only two free provinces left. They're not sieging any of my stuff. All right. Tuscany might not exist. I haven't decided exactly where I'm going to piece this out. Naples has a civil war. That's very good for me. Okay, are you going to flip Verona? Seriously, Savoy? What the hell? Why are they occupying Verona? That's incredibly frustrating. And because there's no full annex option anymore, I can't full annex and then get Verona. I mean, it would have been too expensive anyway. Wow, Milan by itself is 97% war score. It's that valuable. 39 development. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Um, take it, core it, while we keep our occupation going on over Tuscany. Probably. Like, I would like Treviso, and especially Venice. It might be worth just jumping on Venice just for the trade by itself. 
We're not, we don't have any adjacency and it'll suck if we get any rebels. Oh my god, what are you doing, Savoy? Why are you holding on to Verona? I don't understand it. The problem with Milan is it doesn't... I mean, I guess I'm, I'm allies with Austria right now, which is nice. And staying friendly with the Emperor is also good for um, maybe like Imperial or Unlawful Territory once I do move further north, which is going to be a while. For now, all my, my immediate goals will actually be outside the HRE, and they're a very close neighbor, very handy to have around. Amazing that they're not going to declare war on me. So I don't have to plot directly to go to them yet. But it still would have been nice to grab these two. God, that's so frustrating. I should just take Milan itself, break the actual country of Milan in two, give them a really hard time. They're not going to be able to group up their armies properly. They're not going to be able to deal with rebellions properly. And it'll make it a lot easier for me to kill them on a follow-up war. So I think that's what I will do. Although, taking this means I can't humiliate Milan, which is something to consider. Since now we can humiliate at the same time, that is a lot... I assume this is going to be a lot of aggressive expansion, and it is. That is a lot. The coalitions are definitely going to reform. I will get less aggressive expansion if I take, you know, cheaper provinces. Can you even core this? I suppose so, because of the coast. Like, I could do... <sighs> the trade power from taking Venice would be amazing. I think I might do that and humiliate for the extra points do i need to break a treaty none of the treaties are relevant really i don't think so war reparations and one unit of money well that was still still base of 22.6 aggressive expansion and taking milan was what 29 i mean it's definitely higher i want to be able to humiliate So let's go with this deal. War reparations and unit money. We'll take that. It'll be a little harder to manage, but it is a great province. Yeah, these coalitions. Boom. Okay, start. Wow, we don't have enough to start that core. However extended are we? 30% is not too bad. Although, I guess I don't have to rush about annexing Tuscany yet. Oh, instead of annexing them, what if I just vassalize them? It'll use up a relationship, but that's okay. Can I vassalize and humiliate? I can. And give me all your money. That's what I'm going to do, because I don't have the points to core everything right now. This is going to be perfectly okay. We'll soak them in later. Now. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty epic coalition. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. 100 power projection. Bam. I may have not even needed to humiliate, but what the hell. If I can go above 100, that wouldn't be too bad. So, Milan is still a valid rival, which is nice. Hungary is a shit, and like, fabricating claims, but I don't think it makes sense to rival them. They're too far away for me to do much. Our time being friends with Naples might be at a close, and it looks like rivaling Switzerland is probably a fair, fair thing to do. I will rival Switzerland. I will rival Naples a little bit later. Okay. I can't go through there. I don't have any transports either. There's some coalitions. I suppose the thing to do will be to build like three cogs. And slowly transfer my entire army over to Venice and just have it sit there. Coalitions! Oh god. Did I overdo it is the question. I still have some very, very good allies. Although Austria won't be able to join in if it's an HRI member that starts the war. Which is a little scary. But France will. That's still a thing. Poland... Probably. We still have Naples. We still have a Savoy. We have a lot of allies in the right area. These, There's a lot of countries joining the coalition, but they're very tiny. Very, very tiny. Next month.
There we go. I'll also be tempted to increase my um, my stability, just in terms of keeping down the rebellion risk over here. Could go for natural uh, national unrest guy, which might not be a bad idea. I'm gonna do that since we are currently overextended. And the last thing I want are some rebellions to pop over here. So as much whatever we can do to slow this down, the better. Royal marriage with Naples has ended. I think we want that back. Eh, do we? Yeah, it's going to... Oh. Hostile attitude. Yeah, they view us as a threat. And they broke their alliance with us. Okay, well, we're going to rival Naples. <clears throat> they can probably coalition. Yep. Got enough AU over there. There, okay. Now all of a sudden that's a little scarier. We're still above our relationship boost, of course, because we do have that new vassal. Oh, speaking of, I should be able to royal marry you. Oh, no, you're a republic. Never mind. Have our diplomat die. Which is this guy. Um, again, I like prestige. I like points, and this guy is useful for burning off. Well, he's probably going to die soon anyway. Shoot. He's good for burning off aggressive expansion. I think we have a decent heir. Yeah, our heir is better than our current king, so that is nice. So you don't have an alliance, but you have not joined the coalition, Naples, which is good. Wouldn't surprise me if it happened any time, though. And that might be enough to send things over the edge. Yeah, I'm behind times on these technology groups, which is bad. Although, I'll still want to grab cabinet. Recall that diplomat. France. I mean, I, I'm, we're mostly capped, but I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's all the way up. Um, Poland. All the way up. You actually have the green heart. If it wasn't for the fact that those wars were so distant, you would have joined before. Now, if a war does kick off and... Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully you'd join in. And there we go. First cog. Yeah. Farrier troops one at a time over here. Venetian Separatists, nine years. Ah, oh, it's actually pretty far away. You know what? Maybe we don't need to worry quite as much. I want armies there before the rebellion pops, of course. But it looks like we're actually pretty stable. It probably helps, of course, that I got the National Unrest guy. That's good. I would like to be a plus one stability, as I was just saying, but we really need our points to tech up, so I guess we won't be doing that. Um, I'm going to cancel the cogs. I can still do the one at a time ferrying. And instead build a couple more barks. One, two. How's my force limit? There we go. Nice. Mostly men at arms. Yeah, and say, let's say one more cannon. That'll be good. Okay, well, we're going to have to be very careful over the next couple episodes because I'm really concerned about that coalition triggering. Um, I am sad about Verona. I would have much preferred doing something like grab Verona and Treviso. Don't get me wrong, Venice is really nice. That coastal center of trade is really good. Um, we now have 56% of the trade power in this node. Wonderful. All right. Papal State is A, in the coalition, and B, fabricating claims, which has me very concerned. Oh, you have a Conquest CB anyway, so claims don't actually matter. Because I think they still have some cores over here, right? Well, no, that would be Reconquest. Maybe I misread it. Oh no, my Super General is gone! What's my army tradition looking like right now? 12.6, so I'm going to get a crap General. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, my current leader is going to become my General. Oh, that is too awful. I was going to say, we can maybe get him killed in battle. Um, I'm going to have to roll. Actually, that's pretty good. For 12.6 tradition, I'm very happy with that. It sucks to not have, like, super siege anymore, because that actually turned out to be really handy. But, you know, three points of combat stats plus good maneuver for river crossings. Cannot complain. Okay. CNE separatist, that's going away completely. Papal separatist, non-existent. The Venetians... <coughs> 
pretty much a non-existent rebellion risk as well. All right, well, we're going to wrap up this episode here. I hope that we don't have some friction in the desire of Venezia. At least it's only one province. We do have a claim over here. We got to keep a close eye on Austria. We need to stay really, really friendly with them. Have any papal or uh, HR reforms gone through yet? No, I suppose I could. Oh, that one's gone through. I suppose I could start voting for them. Wow. It has to be careful because, of course, it makes Austria stronger and stronger and eventually gets quite dangerous. I don't think I'm going to vote for them. I think I'm looking to slow down the HRE to a certain extent. I don't know. This next one's pretty handy. No, we'll leave it off. All right. Thank you very much for watching another episode of our Let's Play of EU4 as Italy. Well, for now, but Italy soon enough. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.